It's World Series time again. This year we got four pretty good teams in the World Series. American League, we got the world champion New York Yankees. Playing the upstart Texas Rangers, who are from Dallas. The National League, you got the National League champion Philadelphia Phillies. Playing the upstart San Francisco Giants. You see some great pitching matchups in here. The Yankees have Andy Pettit. Texas Rangers have Cliff Lee. If you remember, Cliff Lee pitched for the Philadelphia Phillies last year. And when the Phillies went to the World Series and lost to the Yankees, four games to two, it was Cliff Lee that won the two games for Philadelphia. Which I believe were game number one and game number five. But the Phillies opted to let Lee go, and they got Roy Halladay. Roy Halladay has proved to be the best pitcher in Major League Baseball this year, winning 21 games and only losing 10. And he's pitched two no-hitters, one of them a perfect game, down in Florida in May, and the other one just last week, at home in Philadelphia against the Cincinnati Reds. Playoff game. That's only happened twice in the history of postseason play. The other one was in 1956. Now, to give you an idea how long ago that is, I'm 53 years old. That was a year before I was born. So who do you like? Do you think that uh, the Phillies are going to pull it out? San Francisco won game number one in Philadelphia. They beat Roy Halladay. Four to three. And then game number two, Roy Oswalt defeated San Francisco. Six to one. San Francisco couldn't get any offense. Cole Hamels is going to pitch probably against Matt Cain tonight. Game number four, I'm not sure who's going to pitch for San Francisco. It's going to probably be Joe Blanton for Philadelphia. And then game number five, it's going to be Roy Halladay again. And then we go back to Oswald if there's a game six, and Hamels if there's a game seven. And then over in the American League, Texas is ahead of the New York Yankees two games to one. The Yankees won game number one in Texas, and Texas won game number three up in New York. So that's quite an achievement. Who's going to win that series? Now think about this, okay? In football, one of the biggest rivalries you have in football is Dallas versus Philadelphia. Dallas Cowboys, Philadelphia Eagles. That's a huge rivalry. Imagine if the Texas Rangers and the Philadelphia Phillies meet in the World Series. The Texas Rangers play in Arlington, Texas. Arlington is a suburb of Dallas. So quite frankly, you would have Dallas versus Philadelphia in baseball. Wouldn't that spark the interest in the football fans? The news groups will be very busy talking about that one. And that's why I hope that happens. Not only that, you would see Cliff Lee, the Philly from last year, pitching against Roy Halladay. Now Halladay, during the course of this year, proved himself to pitch better than Lee. But Halladay also lost to San Francisco a couple of days ago. I don't think Lee has lost a playoff game yet. Boy, would that be a pitching matchup. And they could possibly meet two, maybe even three times, games one, four, and seven in the World Series. Think about that. This year's World Series is going to be fun. 
And it was the Yankees versus Philadelphia. That's a repeat of last year. Philadelphia is going to try to get back and defeat New York. New York has defeated Philadelphia twice in the World Series, 1950 and 2009. Philadelphia might want to get back at them. San Francisco can't be counted out either. They have former Philadelphia slugger Pat Burrell. And they have some pretty good pitchers. They have the second best pitching lineup in all baseball with their three pitchers. Lincecum, Kane, and Sanchez. Philadelphia has Halliday, Hamels, and Oswald. And Joe Blanton's no slouch either. He's a pretty good number four. Let me know who you're rooting for. Who do you want to see in the World Series? Who do you want to win? And as usual, thank you for allowing me to bore you. And have a great day. Bye.